Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new Safe Valley of Jumping in again. Previously we played as Bethany and had a real good run. We are going to play as Tainted Isaac this time around. I want to just jump through some of the Tainted characters now that we've got a good few of them unlocked um, and try and unlock some stuff as them. So I think we're going to go for... I don't know what we're going to do as Tainted Isaac actually. I think I'm just going to figure it out as we go. But yeah, Tainted Isaac, relatively... I don't know. He can be a really easy character. That was a really bad hit there. Uh, he can be a really easy character on some runs and others he can be extremely difficult. It really depends on the look of the draw and how good your items are. So obviously, you've got the randomly changing items that can sometimes be fantastic and other times be not so amazing. So we're just going to kind of see how lucky we get with the, um, the items we end up getting put forth here. So we've got Band Regeneration or the Clicker. So the Clicker is obviously terrible. Um, so we'll definitely take the Band of Regeneration um first because at least that's going to give us some capability to heal i think it said uh i heal after clearing rooms or something I'll, I'll i'll look at that again in a sec clearing a room after taking damage in two separate rooms will heal you for one heart so basically if we if we take damage back to back we then heal after that fact which is kind of an interesting idea i suppose um i suppose if it works on soul hearts as well we could use it to like play sack rooms and uh, not sack rooms play like blood banks and stuff more um actively which could be kind of nice we'll see how that goes um oh come on now you you almost hit it this this room's a bit of a bit of a weird one it's kind of like a troll room i want to say troll room as such but it's got like a a, a different out for how to play it um but unfortunately right now not having the best of luck in terms of uh actually being able to do this correctly getting them to run into the red poops is real hard but luckily, these guys aren't too bad. It's really only the um, the extra fly spawns that are making these guys tough. Hey, there you go. One of them got red poop. Unfortunately, lost our half soul heart there, which is a little bit unlucky. We do get synth oil, which we'll definitely take. Go down to the next floor. Feeling good. Good start to a run. As for the question of the day to day, what's a, what's some like a bit of tech that's relatively popular that you just have absolute interest in? In terms of like tech itself i i've never been a new fern sort of person ever i just i i genuinely like i don't want to belittle anyone that does do this because it's your own progress if it's your own money but i've never been able to understand the fascination with like people that like buy the latest ferns or the latest iphone or whatever people that like have to have the newest phone and like get a new phone every year or two just to me just seems like an absolute waste of money even even if you like you haven't had a phone in a good like four or five years, buying a brand new phone, like a, a newly released model, I still think is just unfathomably silly in terms of the amount of money that, that you'd be spending on it. I mean, if you enjoy it and you have the money, more power to you. But personally, I really can't see the, the appeal, but to each their own, I guess. Uh, and, and in terms of like apps and stuff like that, I I just I, I genuinely cannot stand TikTok. At all. I will never ever download that app. It seems like an absolute cancer on the current generation, I'll be honest. Like, it seems to have just completely eradicated any sort of attention span that people had. And um, it, it seems to have just generally made a gen an entire generation much more stupid. Um, if, if you use TikTok, I would highly recommend you stop using it and you will probably see your life improve because of it. Just mindless doom scrolling. It's just silly. Um, I will say I use Reddit, so I can't exactly say that I'm faultless. I know that many people consider Reddit the exact same sort of thing. But at least with Reddit, like, you can go to specific communities and, like, I, I mainly use it for, like, gaming updates and news. Um, stuff like that. Uh, and, like, keep keeping up with the current sort of news and stuff like that. I don't really use it for, like, just mindlessly scrolling through videos. Um, but yeah. Never understood that. Okay, so we got that one, which I love. And we've also got the Sculpted Pepper. Um, on you spawns a stone block attached to... Um, attacking the stone block chisels it, and a fully chiseled produces an aura. I think I'd rather go with the poop, to be honest. Um, I know there's a passive item, so not quite as good. But I really do like this item overall. I think it can be very, very strong, especially if you can um, get luck to go with it. And the fact that it can spawn various types of poop makes it even better, in my opinion. But yeah, 3% chance to fire it as of base, and it goes up with, with luck, I think it does. Uh, up to a 25% chance at 13 luck. Obviously, getting up to maximum chance is pretty difficult. Oh god, lost my devil deal chance there because of idiocy. To be fair, this room's kind of rough. 
I think it's meant to be a room in which you, um, you use the charm to basically take care of the whole room. It's a little difficult though. I'm trying to hit this charm pot here, but not easy. Are you not gonna fire at each other at all? Come on now. Okay, there you go. <laughs> little annoying, but yeah, little annoying to lose my devil deal there, but eh, it is what it is. We'll be fine. We shall be fine. But yeah, anything that can insta-kill an enemy, really good. And then it insta-kills an enemy and gives us a reward for it in the form of uh, a little turd. Uh, actually, do you know what? I'm going to hold off on Plum Flute and uh, see what we get. Because it's uh, it's an active. We don't currently have one. I feel like it's a pretty decent active as well. So why not? Why the hell not? Play it safe. Stay, stay alive. Stay out the way of big chunks to himself. Good. Good. Nice. And it does swap. Okay, I'm actually I'm actually gonna take Sty instead, which is kind of silly, but um, I actually did get my Devil Deal. Nice. I'm gonna take Sty instead because I actually think that Sty is pretty damn good for a damage up for us here. Um, and then we'll just go down to the next floor once again. Um, I'm going to go for Angel Deal here, I think it's a little more reliable. But yeah, I kind of forgot that the Plum Flute would swap between something else there. I was <laughs> completely forgetting that was a thing. And I'm actually kind of glad it did, because we got another damage up. Oh, for God's sake, I didn't expect that to do that for some reason. I'm stupid. Harlot Heart there. Um, interesting. I'd like that, but I can't pick it up right now. Oh, dude. This guy's got higher range than I expected, too. I'm, I'm kind of shitting the bed here, i got to be honest. Don't lose my uh, potential angel deal chance. It's not exactly a high chance, but we achieved a 33% chance last time. Oh god, this room looks heinous. Fan of this at all. I'm kind of getting pushed in here as well. There's so much enemies. What the fuck? This is like insane. The amount of enemies in this room is too damn high. Okay, luckily these guys are actually pretty darn easy to kill. All these bubbles are making me nervous, I will say. Okay, we got there in the end. Hey, we got our soul heart back. Our angel deal is now protected once more. Gotta love that. Ooh, this is a potentially rough room. Yeah, we got through it. That was a, a little bit risky, though. We do need a key for our item room. And I would, to be fair, like a key for our shop as well, because we're getting close to being able to actually afford a purchase here. Good. Try and trick you out quickly. Lovely. I'd like my poop shots to be a little bit more on target here. Um, okay, that's kind of an interesting room. I kind of like it. I was a little bit worried those bubbles would pop into extra shots there. And I was like, oh no, if I made a mistake going into the middle here. Careful for these guys firing their ink at me. Oh my god. These rooms are kind of brutal. We've been having some really sort of very enemy filled rooms. A lot of a lot of targets, a target rich environment. Oh, on a big enemy like that, just instantly turning him into poop. There's nothing more satisfying. Oh, my God, bad hit. Yeah, rough rooms right now. Oh, there's our key. Lovely, lovely. Gimme. We still haven't seen our item room yet, so we're still waiting on that. <laughs> the first hit, baby. Oh, the double, the double, and we did get a second key for our shop as well. Slightly tricky spots to hit you in. Okay. Hey, a third key as well. God damn. We're lucky. And a fourth key as well. Beautiful. We'll go to our shop now and see see what's there. Luck Penny is awesome as well. That's a pretty good active. I'd probably want to grab that. Um, 
see if we can grab that. Shop we haven't seen yet, have we? There we are. So there's our penny. So we'll take our fire, our, our little flame there. Because we can use this to weaken enemies, and I quite like the idea of that. Probably not going to be something that we use in every single room, just because it does take a little bit of time to use. But overall, it's pretty damn good. And it can be used multiple times a room as well, which is even nicer. Brawl bomb. Lovely. And it can pass through multiple enemies as well, which is rather nice. I have to kill that dolphin real easy. And it seems to last a good amount of time too. Dude. You need to get away from me, please. So we're now at risk of losing our thingy again. Oh, dude, I've trapped myself. No, no, no. Oh, for fuck's sake. You idiot. I, for some reason, didn't see this rock at all. I just completely missed it. Ugh, idiot. And I was like, okay, I can kill the enemies still. And then I realized, nope, once they go invincible, you can't kill them. Fool. Ruined everything. Also, where the hell's my item room at? I thought I'd been past all the rooms it could possibly be in, but apparently not. There it is. Just me. Get out of here. And 120 volt is definitely the better one of the two out of these. Although not incredibly good. I suppose it is good to have an item that we're willing to trade away. At the minute, the Band of Regeneration and 120 volt are my two tradable items. Everything else I kind of want to keep. Right. Keep moving along though. Still got that 9% chance of an angel deal. It's still plausible. Still in the realms of possibility, even though it won't happen, but I can, I can hear. Slightly rough boss here. Oh dude, my fire just did not go where I wanted it to at all then. Oh dude, you goddamn hit me as well. There goes my 9% chance. If I get an angel deal now, I'm, I'm in Miracle City. Took a bit more damage than I'd hope there. And we get ourselves Jesus Juice, which I'll take. Down to the next floor. Not particularly happy with how things are going right now. My items are decent, but my health is pretty bad and I don't have any soul hearts. We do get a library here. We'll at least check it out because there could be some good stuff in here. Ooh, baby. I know that I just picked up this active, but I'm sorry. Um, we have a much better one here. This thing's an, this, this thing's absolutely amazing. Ooh, to be fair, let's take the Delirious book. Um, and then we can collect all of these other books. And then that as well. Um... I think that's a great idea. Right, cool. We have contained all the other books. We use this one multiple times in a room, which I like. <laughs> what other books do we have in here? Telepathy for Dummies, whatever that is, and then our pancakes one. Oh, what a fucking stu- <laughs> That was the stupidest hit ever. I hate not having soul hearts. Fuck this game. Steven's about. Hello. God damn it. Such a stupid hit. There you go. Use it twice. The fact that we can stack up charges like this is pretty awesome. We now got Bookworm as well, which is a good bonus to have. Really, should, do you know what I'll do? I'll save it for rooms where it's more necessary, where there's like multiple of the same enemy, and then I can stack up charges a little uh, faster. So like this room, I won't bother. Not many enemies to, to bother with. Get back over here, please, little shit. And we've got the minty leaf I'll take. Gorgon would be really nice there, but yeah. It's another luck-based thing, firing freezing fires, which I, I quite like.
Good. Fire seems to be firing off pretty rapidly. You've managed to escape my grasp. Dude, I'm gonna pay in the ass. Yeah, we got you. We got you. Oh my goodness, I do not like this room. Right, finally get a soul heart, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Okay, finally got a soul heart. Do the boss first. This guy could easily take away this soul heart from me, especially, yep, considering he's got pooters around. We're firing a lot of these fires for two luck. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Yeah, lovely. And then I think we'll take the suppository. Slightly damage down, but eventually will hopefully be a damage up. Take these pills. Tears up. Hey yo. Try and find the secret room and then actually let's do the rest of this floor to try and get a bit more money. In fact, I might even bomb my donation machine actually. Uh just as a way to get myself a little bit more money, because the next floor we need like about 25 to 30 um coins on average to like really make the most of it. It seems like um I'm freezing enemies with my 120 volt sometimes, which is weird. I don't know if it's just a placebo effect. Or, like, I'm just seeing it slightly wrong, but it kind of looks like that's what's happening. Did, unfortunately, get this guy, but this guy could mean more money. It just means we can't bomb our donation machine if he doesn't give us much. But he could give us steam sale as well, so... Not as much as I was hoping for, really. In fact, not even nearly as much as I would have got from bombing my donation machine, so a little bit rough on that front. Thanatosis. Thanatosis. I'm really liking having the uh, delirious version of this book. I can just use it multiple times. It's such a. I think the delirious book is genuinely one of my favorite additions from the library mod. It's so goddamn good. That and the uh, the library card thing that te teleports you to the place with all of the books is really good. Yeah, the fact that we can stack this up in rooms where we don't want to use it and then spam the hell out of it. Oh my god, it's awesome. Good. So we're all full up on items now. Um, go through into here. My third eye is twitching. Are you ready to receive our gift? Indeed I am. Love the music down here. Apparently this is an XL floor as well, which is kind of weird. Definitely more Fool's Gold Rocks on this floor on purpose so that you can get enough money for the... Uh, secret room shop. We'll make sure to do all of our rooms first. That was a really bad hit. I really want to keep my angel deal alive, but honestly things ain't going too hot right now, so don't know how plausible that's going to be. Dude, nope. That was close. That was close. Rooms are confusing me. Um, excuse me. Where the fuck's my book gone? Okay. It's just visual glitch. Okay, that's fine. literally just a visual glitch. I don't know why it's not showing up in my inventory, but it's, we still have the correct book. Don't really know what to think of this. I'm, I'm unsure how this room exactly works. But I know that I don't like it. I'm not sure what this means with this floor being XL. I've not had this floor as an XL. Does this mean I... If this is an XL, does this mean I miss out on my item room next floor? Because that's going to be real sad if I do. Dude, what's my angel deal again? Can I get some fucking soul hearts, please? Run's kind of dookie. <laughs> like, it's good, but I'm getting really frustrated. Like, the, the health situation is real bad. One twenty volt. Okay, that's gonna bomb him. Sadly, that was 
I was actually thinking about trading 120 volt then, but the game was like, no. Nah. The game said, no, no, no. Oh, that hurt me. Not a fan of this enemy. Magician, I guess I'll take it for the boss. Get away from me, you heathen. hit like crazy right now. I should get a good amount of money here. HP up shots me down. That's really good. I think my fires can also turn enemies into poops as well there. Good. He's actually stuck in a good spot. Keys. No actual enemies in this room. Wait, well, no, there is an enemy in this room. It's a palty. Do you? Oh, dude, these palties are kind of a nightmare. Kind of a nightmare. It's weird, it's like a good run, but it's definitely got some some limitations right now. Mainly in the health and angel deal department. Dude, that was such a <laughs> such a bad hit. Lots of bombs, that's good. Not seeing many of our little friends about, our reroll friends. I don't know where, where all they are at the minute. I guess I'll take the Ankh. I just walked into spikes. I didn't realize that was a spikes thing. Oh, dude, I got hit as soon as I walked into this room as well. I can't even get over to that health. God damn it. Holy shit, this room is insane. This room is insane. Second secret room, maybe? No. Back we go. Gonna bomb this guy. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Actually, it's, does that does that work for us really? Does that do much for us? It might not. That's not secret room either. Where is secret room? We we need to find secret room. Got another friend, one that won't blow up straight away as well now. I'm getting confused on which is the enemy and which isn't. G, you want Jesus juice? No, thank you, sir. No, thank you, sir. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That's not been very useful for us so far. And we get cat food or sad bombs. Uh, I guess I'll take cat food just because it's HP. Kind of need HP. Can you not be a shit, please, and actually pop up? Good. Good that we managed to re-roll that guy a few times. That was nice. 120 volt. Yeah, I'm going to give you 120 volt. It's it's a bit of a risk, but I think we could get better. I was wrong. We cannot get better. It hurts isn't actually that bad, but I, I don't want to be getting hit, so it's not ideal. Two guys over here as well. You're dead. 
Rosary bead, I think I'll be okay, thanks. A little trade here. Again, Jesus Juice. You can't have my damage ups, Mr. Man. Can't have my damage ups, is what I just said. Fuck you. Um. Yes. Pride pin. Lovely. I will take pride pin, definitely. This is going to be fucked. Okay, so we want to get rid of It Hurts, I think, and take Pride Pin. Pride Pin's goddamn good for us here. Pretty goddamn good. Oh, more luck is great for more poops as well. I'm liking the way that our luck is stacking up. Again, secret room I'm still not entirely sure on. There you go. We've got 40 coins right now. I think it's worth checking at this point. Um, Paying for a devil deal grants a damage up. Um, 120 vol or wavy cap. We need to go deeper. Dude, this is ter this is actually terrible. This is such a bad draw. We got all active items. Thanks for that, I guess. We got real unlucky there. We could buy 120 volt back, I guess, um, instead of cat food. It's not exactly the best purchase in the world, but I guess. <laughs> not ideal. Certainly not ideal. Collected Bomber, thank you. I'd like to say I can keep this Eternal Heart alive, but based on my track record so far, I don't know how true that actually is. Probably not very true. What the fuck? How am I meant to avoid that? Great. Kindling book? What the fuck was that? Um... I was on the wrong boat. Annoyed to have lost that there. Here's the fake mini boss as well. There's the mini boss and then it's just not. Not ideal. Lost our eternal heart that I paid for. Big sad. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Boss is quite far away. Quite the trek to make our way back. Lost our angel deal chance yet again, of course. Why wouldn't we? <sighs> it's going alright. I'm making it out to be worse than it is. We've definitely gained HP this floor as well, which I'm happy about. Overall, it's not ideal though. Really, my burn guy just killed himself. Thanks for that. So we do have two bosses, but what's the other boss going to be? Very confused. Pop this. The Bible? That's not what I meant to use at all. Oh, it's just a random book, okay. Calm down, fella. Good. Got that. Uh, we'll take it instead of... I don't actually know. Maybe 120 volt? Good. Black hearts now. And then make sure we're on the right book. We want telepathy for dummies. That's the one, I think. 
This was meant to be Mum's foot, I think. We're fighting the same boss again. This definitely doesn't seem like it's supposed to be able to happen. Seems incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> we got the Polaroid and negative. Um, I guess I'll just take the negative here. Well, this didn't really work the way we wanted it to, did it? Um, weird. We missed out on an item room and stuff. And a shop. Wasn't I- Wait, what? I went down to the womb and I've ended up on this floor. Now I'm even more confused. <laughs> the game has really confused itself. Am I going to be able to get two negatives here? What's going to go on here? game has had a mass confusion. Unfortunately, both of those are doo-doo stinky. So let's use the dice shard here to re-roll. Ooh. Okay, both of these are shit hot. Um, both of these are real good. I think I'm going to take this, and I think I'm going to take it over... That. There you go. I, th I think that's. I think that's worthwhile trade. One second. Okay, great. Let's carry on. Yeah, not ideal to leave that behind. Uh, damage up, but dead eye should be a lot better for us in the long run. Beat there's lovely. I'm really confused as to what's going to happen now. This. We are on Necro two. We're not on Womb one. Really good hearts there. Ah. Not worth, not worth. Use this book. Oh wait, is it is it a one room charge if I use it while it's at full charge? I think it is, you know, because of because of our, our AAA battery. Because it just recharged instantly there, so we want to be using it every single room. And it'll be a one room charge. That'll make it kind of OP. I hurt myself with that. That's kind of bullshit. I hurt myself. Today. Yeah, it's a one room charge now. Awesome. That is very good, very nice. I'm liking this a lot. Hop in here real quick. I'll do the triple button press. Whoa, all successes. I mean, didn't get anything good, but all successes is still pretty good. Oh, what the hell? Right. Good. Oh my god, that was my bad. That was my bad. Used the active way too early and hurt myself. Should probably use that machine, actually. I'll go use it for a little bit. We've missed Boss Rush already anyways. Try and get a Soul Heart or two out of it, because we don't need our money anymore. Or oh, get nothing. No trinkets. Okay, there's a trinket, finally. No cards. We did get the active, but not very good for us. Yeah, not ideal. Get 
good. Dude, this thing won't die. Okay. We're going, we're going. Let's leave this place. Yeah, a second negative. <laughs> negative two, electric boogaloo. Really good for our extra damage, actually, because it doesn't count as one of our eight items. It's really useful. Finally got an angel deal. There's our second negative for even more damage. Although... Didn't give us more damage, I don't think. It's weird. Really? Come on now, game. That's fucking stupid. I am annoyed and frustrated by that. Give me two very terrible items. I mean, Nun's Habit's not bad, but I ain't taking it for anything that I've got right now. Obviously. All that time waiting for the angel deal. And this is what you give me. Anyways, I'm just going to have to pause for a hot minute here. One second. Right, we are back. Let's continue onwards. Carry on with this room. We got an XL floor again, which I'm pretty damn happy about. I've just been away for like half an hour, so I've got to remember how to start playing this run again. I've got to remember to use my active every single room, definitely. But this run's good. This run's pretty damn good. I'm liking it. Um, we we were kind of struggling a little bit for a while. We've definitely gotten past that, I think. I'm liking the fact that we have five luck with the poop shot and the um, the ice fires. We are firing off quite a lot of extra damage. Um, and kind of defense as well with the ice, to be honest. Because it's slowing, but it's also... Ah, used it there, I shouldn't have. I don't know what item it is that's causing all these fires here. It's kind of interesting, though. The moon. Thank you. Uh, do I want that? Probably yes. Probably yes. Right. Keep this moving. Wow, as if it works on enemies with that much HP. That's awesome. So goddamn good. All death for you, my guys. All death for you. Yeah, this this act this active. Like, it's weird how like the delirious book is kind of amazing, even like even without using it to its fullest advantage. Got a soiled heart there. Even if I'm not like taking advantage of using multiple different books, the fact that it allows you to use one book that like you can like use and it only uses a certain amount of charges, I think is really, really nice. It allows you to, like, have certain books that potentially benefit from being used multiple times in one room and, and spamming the hell out of them in, like, a boss fight or something. And that's really cool. Really damn cool. Thank you. You as well. We don't need a bunch of keys here, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Good. More luck, baby. The luck train is a rolling. And it is rolling deep. This is so good. Like, I couldn't have hoped for more luck. Dude, what the hell? I'm going like. This is an XL floor, and I've managed to absolutely shit the bed with the directions here. I have made. Like, literally, from the starting room, I've gone every single way but the correct way. That's so crazy that it can kill that guy in one hit. That's absolutely nuts. Got him. <laughs> Every room is easy when you can insta-kill them all. I'm loving my soiled heart as well here. I really like the, like, I actually really, initially, I really wasn't a big fan of the different heart types. But now that I've, like, started playing a lot, and I've sort of just accepted the fact that some things are more powerful than others, I quite like them. They're, they're definitely a bit strong, but I, I don't particularly mind that anymore. Dude, those fire hearts hitting myself is such BS. 
just like lost quite a lot of extra HP there for no good reason. As a half soul heart at least, thank you. Moving and grooving. Bad hit there, but it's fine. I have so many friends. Ah, oh, another terrible hit. Okay, we'll we'll reel back. Mongo's guy is gone. Ooh. Um Chad is very different. Oh, Chad's been reworked. Oh my god, Chad's so kind of awesome now. He did hit me though, so I I smite him for that, but Chad's kind of cool now, right? What the hell? I liketh the Chad. Liketh the Chad. Gotta be careful not to take too much more damage here, because I'd like to get my Angel deal. Sadly, this being an XL floor doesn't make that super likely. Oh, really? Instantly? Eternal Heart there. Mr. Dolly. Good stuff. Uh, I don't think I actually want to take Mr. Dolly, I'll be honest. I think I'm happier with the damage. Eh, how much fire does it give me? Nah, yeah, I think I'm happy with the damage. Angel deal, maybe? Sadly not. We're going dark path, right? Cool. Down we go. Sadly, no Mega Satan, unless we can find a sack room that I can somehow inexplicably play. My Soiled Heart is doing me real good right now. Got a Golden Pill there. I'm honestly not that interested in a Golden Pill right now. I, my run isn't dire enough for me to need to use it, so why bother? <coughs> Apologies for my coughing. I've just eaten. I realized when I took a pause from the episode that I was actually incredibly hungry. So I decided to have a protein yogurt. Good stuff. Frozen. My guy, stop being invincible. Bumming me out. We got ourselves Red Bomber or Nine Lives, both of which I'm not that intro. Okay, it did nothing. It's kind of funny. If it doesn't hit anything, the book goes, hmm. If you heard that, it's pretty funny. Oh my god, that was a rapid shot he fired out there. Nice. I'm okay for the full heart of damage, thanks. I could just use it three times in this room to full clear it, but... I don't know, it's easier to just clear it with my tears, I think, at this point. Nice. That was kind of risky. They zoomed around a bit faster than I expected. Man, this, it, this book, it's just... I can't believe it's like quality 2 or whatever it is. It's like, it's so goddamn good. It's like, I'd say like a solid 50% of the rooms in the game contain only one type of enemy, which means that it just insta-kills the room. And it's a two-room charge. Obviously for now, for us, it's now a one-room charge, but typically it's a two-room charge. I think that's kind of nutty. Three... Two, one. Timed that reasonably well.
All the extra luck is firing off a ton of fires, which is giving us a lot of protection. Good stuff. Just kind of walked into one of the foots there, so took a bit of damage. Kind of shitting the bed on this bit, but hey her. Ordinary life. Oh, ordinary life is such a goddamn good item. It's a really good boss item. Potentially good stuff here. A theme is definitely something we want. Um, I'm going to take it over Sty, I think. Um, my Shadow is also good, but I don't think we need it. I, I want to take this because it's got, like, we've got really high luck, which means it's got a pretty goddamn good chance of proccing, which means that our active potentially could cause a chain reaction, could really good do some good stuff for us. Oh, every goddamn time you hit me with that attack. Apart from that time. I can't avoid it. Something wrong with my brain. It does not accept that attack as a valid one to dodge. That was just silly. Still got plenty of HP left. Do not fret. Do not worry. Scapula could be useful if I get on low HP, so i got to remember that's there. Hey, we got a Holy Dip. That's basically all you're waiting for with the Soiled Heart. Once you get a Holy Dip, it's game over, baby. Massive fire rate increase. Slight 50% uh, chance to not take damage. Herming. It's just all good, man. Like that, that guy popped up underneath me. Took no damage. And the massive fire rate increase means more of our poop shots and more of our uh, thingy shots as well. Ow, lovely. I don't like these enemies. I've taken a lot of damage to them thus far. Um, Every enemy alive in the room, ah, that's not great. I mean, it's, it's pretty good, but it's not amazing because it doesn't really work for bosses and stuff unless they spawn stuff. Yeah, I'm not particularly enthused about my HP anymore, I'll be honest. I lost both of my uh, good hearts. Hoping we get some red hearts here and there, but not looking hopeful right now. Mark. Oh my god, all of those guys just insta-died. That is awesome. Come on, HP, where you at? Okay, that's actually good. Enemies killed, drop. Um, yeah, okay. Ooh, that's um, better than Synth Oil, I think. Yeah, it is. Ju just about. There's also a knockback as well. And visually it looks good too, so... Oh, what the hell hit me then? Dude, these whippy tongue guys kind of awful. I don't like them messing up my shit. Right, I'm just going to take take on this fight here. Hope for the best. Oh, I lost my boy. I lost my boy. Thanks for that. There you go, we got him. Nice and easy. No victory lap for us, thank you. I will do that at some point though. I gotta, I gotta get it done at some point. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.